ABC 10, Sean Cunningham, thrilled to be joined by a guy who I actually got to see play twice in person uh, after he got to Sac State. It was those first two games against Idaho when the silly season kind of got underway with, uh, with Sac State. And it was one, it was two of eight appearances that he had with the Hornets. And now he's uh, looking forward to doing even bigger things with the Hornets. And it's, it's, he's joining me on a really special day. And it's Deshaun Heiler. You may know him from Last Chance U on Netflix, but uh, it's my first chance to talk to him. And thrilled to be joined by you, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. You're, you're welcome. No, thanks for joining me. I mean, it, it, today is a monumental day with, with college sports. I know in California, things had already kind of gone this way. But, you know, to see the NCAA allow college athletes now to be able to profit off of their name, their image, and their likeness, uh, just such a monumental day. And to see that you, you, you already have social media posts that says the first, self, first ever self-branded athlete is really, really exciting. Just why don't you tell people what you've been up to? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've just been getting getting ready for these NIL rules to change. You know, there's been a lot of talk about it recently, um, and no one really knew, you know, what exactly the bill was going to look like. But, you know, it came out yesterday, and uh, they said that, you know, at midnight, you know, starting midnight uh, today, that we'd be able to profit off our name, image, and likeness, and just excited to get my brand started, just excited for all student athletes across the country um, cause you know, this is an opportunity that we've been waiting on for a long time. Um, it's been a long time coming. Um, and I'm just excited to get the ball rolling. And for someone like you, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting because here you are at Sac State, it might not be the, the biggest program in the world, but so many people followed you from what you've done, uh, you know, in East LA, it, it, you know, at the community college level, and it was on to last chance university, how much of it for you? Cause you get so much of a following from, from people who know you from that realm, um, this really, I think, kind of prevents, really op- gives you a, just a tremendous opportunity right now. Definitely. Um, you know, I'm just grateful to the show, just grateful for all the opportunities that I've had since then. Definitely grateful to all the fans, you know, that have reached out and supported and showed love. Um, you know, yeah, you know, they, they, they like my story and um, uh, I'm just excited that I can, you know, give them something worth watching. Yeah, and you've got the shirt right there. I mean, that's kind of your own logo there. Um, how did that all kind of come to be? Um, you know, I was thinking about what I was going to do about, you know, with the with the NIL. And, you know, I figured it would be a great opportunity for me to start my own brand. You know, every athlete, I think, you know, dreams of having their own brand and putting out their own merch. Um, so I found a graphic designer and we got to work on the logo. And, you know, this is the finished product. And, um my shirts drop tonight. Yeah, that's got to be incredibly exciting. And and for people who don't know, what's the website? Uh, it's anywaynecessary.com, uh, exactly how it's spelled. It's getting ready to start uh, uh, start selling at midnight uh, Eastern time, so 9 p.m. Pacific time. How did this, I mean, look, like we said, California had passed this early. You got to see what happened with NCAA. Where did this image or this kind of, you know, idea get sparked? And, and to see it kind of come to fruition, uh, does it even exceed your expectations right now? Um, you know, it doesn't surprise me. Like I said, it's been a long time coming. Um, you know, everybody everybody knows that athletes should have been paid. Um, college athletes should have been paid by now. Um, and, and, you know, so that part doesn't really surprise me. Um, but as far as California's bill, we knew that they were getting ready to go into effect in 2023. But we also knew that there were other states getting ready to go into effect July 1st of this year. So, you know, logically speaking, it probably wouldn't make sense for the other states not to play ball in that regard, you know, because they would probably lose a lot of recruits. So me knowing that, you know, and, and, and me and my people knowing that, we went ahead and strategized so we can go ahead and uh, be ready for be ready for July 1st, the day of. And anywhere necessary or any way necessary, uh, just where does that kind of come from? What's that mean to you? Uh, so in the, in the show, uh, if you watch Last Chance, you uh, one of the producers asked me, "What? Our, uh, how, how do I plan on getting to Division One basketball?" Um, and my response to him was, "Any way necessary." And that's the way that I chase all my goals, and I and I think that that's um, something that people can use to chase their goals too. Yeah, that's great. I mean, and if people see, you know, you've got the T-shirt there. I've seen several variations of the T-shirts. How many? How many? products do you have available and is there going to be more to come uh yeah definitely so i have the first drop coming out uh it's just three shirts available right now um but definitely definitely got stuff cooking definitely got a lot that i'm excited to release the rest of this year what has the feedback been because i know you know i i had 
talked about you with some people that I guess some mutual folks and they said, you know, he's not that active on social media. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, now we're, now you're utilizing the social media to your advantage. And this is, it's, I think it's super exciting because that's really how people market themselves these days. What has that experience been like? And just what has the feedback been so far? Um, yeah, you know, uh, as far as my activity on social media, you know, there's times where, where, you know, timing is everything you gotta, there's, there's, there's a time for it and there's, there's a time to relax on it and, and be a little more focused on other things. Um, but you know, I'm just excited to get started and, and really excited to utilize my platform, um, you know, to spread a positive message. You know, I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not focused on anything negative. I'm just focusing on straight positivity um, and chasing my goals uh, with, with, with good vibes. Yeah. And if there's folks that haven't seen you on Last Chance U, I mean, we see the hashtag a lot, Team Jenny. Can you kind of explain what the motivation is behind that? Uh, so Team Jenny uh, is just uh, mainly just about, uh, uh, being who you're being, who you're meant to be, being who the, the people who believe in you, there's somebody who believes in you. Um, and, and just being the person that, you know, the people who believe in you expect you to be, um, you know, living up to your potential. Um, you know, for me, my mom believed, uh, uh, believed in me more than anybody, you know, she was my biggest fan, my number one fan. Um, and I just want to make her proud. So team Jenny is just, basically just that message um, in a hashtag. Yeah, that's great. And for you, I mean, I know, you know, you kind of talked about it. You've got some products available. Is this just to kind of test the waters or do you really envision seeing kind of more of these things come about through that website? Um, yeah, I definitely see this as a long-term deal. Um, you know, if other opportunities come along, um, you know, then, then, you know, we might have to, we might have to, get to strategize in a little bit, but uh, I definitely look at this as a long-term opportunity for myself. Um, I definitely don't see my basketball career ending anytime soon. Um, I'm trying to take this thing to the top anyway necessary. So that's how I feel about it. And that's, that's how I'm going to keep rocking. What did you make? I mean, since arriving in Sacramento, what have you kind of made of just the city? I know you're a SoCal kid and to come up here, it could be maybe a little bit different, but it is the D1 opportunity you were looking for. Uh, what was that first season like for yourself? Uh, it was amazing. Um, you know, just a great experience getting to know the guys, um, you know, getting to know Coach Katz and the rest of the staff um, and just getting my feet wet in Division One basketball, you know, with COVID um, playing out the way that it did, you know, we got our year back. So, kind of didn't really count. So it was kind of like a free year just to test the waters and, 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 and get, like I said, get my feet wet and um, get ready for what's to come. You know, and when you're, it was a season unlike any other, I cover the NBA a lot more than I do uh, your program here at Sac, at Sac State, but we try to get in there a lot. And obviously it was a COVID rules and, and all those things. But um, did you, did you ever experience anything like that? I mean, being a part of East LA, even in UTEP before that, um, and then being a part of a reality TV show, this documentary, it, did it kind of prepare you for just the uncertainty this past season had in store for you guys? Um, you know, I don't think anybody was prepared for 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 that for that last season or anything that COVID brought to the world. I don't think anybody in the world was ready for that. But um, you know, we just kind of took it head on as a team, um, and we just focused uh, inward on our culture and and focusing on what we could do, what we could control um, as a group. Um, so. You know, I think I think that that's how a lot of teams treated it. Um, so everybody kind of made the best of what they could. But no, I, that, that was definitely unprecedented. I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, for real. I mean, and then when you go through a whole season and now I, I imagine you're looking forward to the next season. Is it is it kind of that itch that you just can't scratch at the moment being here in this? Oh, off yeah. oh, yeah, definitely. Like I'm waiting for November. There's games that we have on our schedule that I have circled that I'm ready for. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for next season. And if anybody has seen you in Last Chance U and might know what you are as maybe a person, even a basketball player, have they seen anything yet? Considering now you've you've made you've accomplished that goal of getting to the D1 level. Uh, yeah, I think you know this is definitely just the beginning. Um, I haven't showed anywhere near my full potential as a player um, or as a person for that matter. I got a lot of growing to do in both regards, um, and I'm just really excited for the future. I asked this earlier and I want to ask it a different way because we were talking about the social media. You have almost 200,000 followers on Instagram because of this show. Does that ever kind of blow your mind? Uh, yeah, every day, you know, um, there's messages that I get from people saying that I changed their life. 
Um, you know, that's just some of the most humbling stuff that could have that I could have ever imagined coming out of me playing basketball. You know, playing basketball. You know, I, I envision uh, uh, making a living for myself, getting an education, um, and that's about it. Um, you know, inspiring maybe the kids in my neighborhood that they could do the same. Um, but for that message to be taken to a world stage um, is just a completely different feeling that I could have never imagined. And is there, you know, you're, you've got all the confidence in the world as a basketball player. How about the confidence as an entrepreneur going forward, you know, marketing yourself? I mean, how, how do, what's the confidence level with that? I'm just having fun with it right now. Um, you know, I know there's, you know, it's just like anything else that there's competition and I'm a, you know, it's a whole, it's a whole different world in the business world. Um, but, you know, I think I'm ready for it. I think I'm built for it. Like I said, I'm just having fun with it. I'm excited for the future. I've had some athletes tell me before there were two moments where I felt like I made it. One was seeing myself in a video game and the other was having my own logo and brand. Is there mm-hmm. anything that compares to that? Um, yeah, definitely. I don't feel like I've made it at all. Um, I feel like I have a platform. Um, I feel like I've been on a Netflix TV show, but that's it. You know, that's not ever, that's not what I came to play basketball for. I came to play basketball to make it to the NBA. So that's what I'm shooting for. Um, and that's, that's, that's what I'm gonna put my head down towards. What, what's the goal now? You mentioned that D1 college was your goal. And I imagine the goal just becomes an evolution of, of, you know, seeing it through and seeing it at next level for you. What does that mean for you? Absolutely. I'm trying to play in the NBA. So I'm working my tail off as, you know, as hard as I can to get to the next level um, on and off the court. And because, you know, here we are, the, 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 the you know, the station for the NBA finals, you got a finals pick. I know there's, as we talk to you right now, we're in the middle of game five between the Bucks and the, and the Hawks. Do you have a finals pick? Do you like anything going on right now? Um, you know, I love the Suns. I love their team. I love their chemistry. Uh, CP3 is on a tear right now. Book's on a tear right now. Aiden's playing really well. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see who comes out of the East. Um, I think both of those teams are extremely capable of competing uh, at a high level and taking the Suns to, to you know, and making it a series. Um, you know, I don't have a pick either way. Um, but, you know, uh, the, the Suns are playing really well right now. Yeah, smart man, smart man. And then finally, I mean, I got to ask you just how's next team's looking next uh, next year's team looking? I know, you know, Christian Terrell was such a, you know, a local product here and it was you got to play the one year with with Sac State. And now he's going to try and make that jump to the NBA. And, mm-hmm. and you know, for you guys, it's, it's now your guys is to take over this season. Uh, what's what's kind of the prospects for the next season for you guys? Uh, definitely. You know, we have one goal in mind um, and that's to win the conference championship and get to the NCAA tournament. Um, and I think that we have a team that's equipped to do that. You know, our coaching staff is one of the best in the country. Um, we, we have rebuilt our team um, from last year, uh, players that we lost. We lost some great players, Ethan Esposito, Christian Terrell, uh, Brandon Davis, um, you know, players that were integral parts of our team. Um, but, you know, we, our staff has really done a good job of going out and recruiting um, and getting us good guys that, that, that we think are really going to help us compete at a high level. Um, you know, the, the conference is looking like it's anybody's game. Um, and I think that we're going to have a really good chance to compete. Outstanding. I can't thank you enough, Deshaun. Thank you so much. It's uh, it's anywaynecessary.com to check out some of that merch. And I, that's right. I, I know a lot of people who are going to be heading there soon. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Get your merch. Get your merch. Midnight tonight. So we'll have this posted before then for sure. That's right. That's right. Thanks again, man. I really appreciate it. I hope to meet you in person here in this coming season. All right, man. Thanks for having me. Yep. Anything you need from me, let me know. For sure. Sure. Right, talk to you soon. Thanks, man. Right, man. Be easy.